Welcome back. This is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos. And today I'm going to be showing you the most easiest tumbler design you could ever possibly make. I made this set, this wine set, the entire set in a day. That's right. I, I Even two coats of epoxy all done in a day. I got it done early, did my epoxy late, my second coat of epoxy late at night. Good to go, ready to sell. So the process I'm going to show you today is very fun and extremely easy, and I'm a little obsessed with it. I might be doing more. <laughs> so if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you miss more tutorials, vlogs, tips, all kinds of stuff I have coming your way. Let's wake up, prep those tumblers, and slay all day. Let's do this. So this wine set that I'm using today, I purchased through the Stainless Depot. I will make sure to put everything I use today into the description below so you guys can check it out if you'd like to. But I purchased this a couple months back and they were only $16 for the set, which I think they're about $18 now. And as you can see, it comes with everything here. This really nice box. It comes with two straws, the lids for everything. So that is what I am using today. Now, don't worry about that lid. I'm going to also be painting that and everything as well. So I just wanted to kind of briefly show this to you guys. So if you've never seen one, you know what they look like. But I know I have a couple of these box sets sitting up on my shelf. And that's one of the main things I see in, in the groups that I'm in is people just have no clue what to do with their wine sets. And I thought this was a great opportunity to kind of show you guys a design. And, and if you want to use it, that's great. So I went ahead, because this is an extra set that I had, I went ahead and, and prepped my other set that I have and I painted that black. I just used a basic black that I had on hand. Whatever you guys have on hand to color, you could use acrylic paints, whatever you have on hand. That's all I did for the base coat is just a black and I let that dry. And now I'm just gonna quickly show you guys how I attach the wine bottle itself onto my turner. So the wand that I'm using, I typically have a football on the, on the end of this one to hold my tumblers, but I took the football off and I have some drawer liner paper here that I, or not paper, it's like a foam that I purchased at Walmart and I'm just taking a little piece of it and I'm really making sure that I get it down into that wine bottle. Now, after I'm all done pressing it in there, I gave it a couple shakes just to make sure that after the weight of the epoxy is on there, that it's going to hold still and she is good to go. Now, if you do a lot of wine bottles or if you plan on doing a lot of wine bottles, they do sell an attachment on Etsy that I seen that you can attached to a wand so that way it just screws onto the wine bottle so if you plan on doing a bunch you might want to look into that okay let's get to the fun stuff shall we now i went to the store and i purchased this dawn power wash spray i really really love how these turn out they are so fun to do and i also have some gold spray paint here yeah I, i've had it a while i i know <laughs> i'm just gonna give that a good shake to get everything moved around there and then i'm gonna show you guys how absolutely simple it is to do this now you can use a bucket of water because you will need water after you're done doing this but i'm just going to use my hose as you will see here in a minute now i know i want the bottom sprayed off so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my soap here and i'm going to come right up to the hip of that wine glass and i'm going to spray just a little bit above that hip because by the time you've been down to get your hose it will have slipped down just a little bit but since I'm doing two wine glasses, I want to make sure that they are both even uh, with how much paint is on the bottom. So I just kind of eyeballed it right in the same spot each time. I'm going to take my spray paint and quickly spray paint right along the soap. Make sure I hit the bottom. Then I'm going to bend down and get my hose and I'm going to rinse it off. And it is as easy as that. There's the first one. That's how simple this is. Now the next one I'm going to do in the same exact manner. I'm going to spray that soap right up by the hip of the wine glass. I'm going to spray it really well with my spray paint and then rinse it off quickly with my water hose. Another great thing that I really like about this technique is you don't have to do just one color. You could do multiple colors. You could spray that, that power wash all over your tumbler and just layer it up. Keep layering it up. Rinse it off. Spray it down again with your soap and add a different color. The sky is the limit. 
as to what you would like to do with these tumblers. It is so easy and you can really do lots of really neat designs with this. But once you get the feel of the pump and, and figure out how it sprays onto the tumbler, you'll really get the hang of how thick you'd like the soap on there or if you just want little splatters of soap on there. It is, it is completely up to you. Okay, now that that one's done, I'm gonna bring the other one over and I'm gonna show you how they look together. As you can see, because we went right in the same spot each time, they are perfectly lined up. They look beautiful. And I know you guys are gonna do an amazing job as well. Okay, now we're going to move on to the wine tumbler. So I just wanted to do the top and bottom with the gold. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my power wash spray and go right in the center, completely around in as straight of a line as I possibly can. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that up really quick and then I will get this spray painted. So again, I'm gonna take my spray paint and just moving very quickly, just very lightly getting that spray paint all over the place, making sure that I hit up all the places that need to have my spray paint on there. I did miss a little spot there, so I touched it up. Now it is ready to get rinsed off. I'm gonna grab my hose, rinse it, and my set is ready to dry. And then we'll be able to add our decals. Okay, we are back inside and here it is all pretty and I'm ready for its decal. Now, if you don't feel comfortable adding your decal straight to the paint, you could always give it a coating of epoxy first and then add your decal afterwards. But I feel pretty comfortable that my paint is going to be just fine with my decal here. Now, <laughs> my decal, I really thought that was pretty funny. And I will attach where I got my decal from in the description below. So if you guys want to use it, you can. Because this is so quick and easy. You, you guys could honestly make these up for somebody for New Year's. That's how easy this design is. So I'm going to go ahead and get my decal put on here. Now I misjudged and when I cut out my decal, uh, my blade went a little too deep. And so all the backing kind of just stuck to it. So I had to peel it all off. Sometimes you, you just have to... Uh, work you know I'm not going to recut that I'm going to use it so I just had to peel everything off <laughs> it happens next time I'll make sure to not set my blade so deep <laughs> so after I placed my decals I went outside and gave everything a nice quick coat of my semi-gloss clear here two times ultra cover by Rust-Oleum my favorite just because sometimes those paints have a tendency to wick away the epoxy and cause those fish eyes so I like to use Alumalite's amazing clear cast which I do have a code down below if you'd like to use it, if you if you like to use Illumilite or just use whatever epoxy you enjoy using. But I just thought I'd throw that out there. So I'm gonna go ahead and give a nice coating of epoxy, make sure I hit it up really good with my torch, place it onto my turner, do the same thing with the tumbler that said Jeff, but the one that has my name on it, I wanna add some glitter because you know I, I like a little bit of extra sparkle on mine. So for that, I am just going to, I applied my epoxy. I'm not going to, I did. I applied my epoxy onto my tumbler hair. I'm gonna hit it up really good with my torch. And then I'm just gonna take whatever color glitter um, I want to match my, my tumbler. And I'm just going to very lightly sprinkle some of that glitter on there. As you can see, I, I barely have any on my fingers. I just wanted a little bit of a touch of sparkle to my tumbler. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle this on very quickly. I made sure not to go too high up with any of my glitters on the bottom there because as the tumbler turns on your turner, that glitter will rise up the tumbler and it might get into places that you don't really want it. So I, I really tried to keep it down low so that way if it did rise up, it didn't go very far. So I'm gonna place that onto my turner as well. I'm gonna let everything turn for about three hours and then I let everything continue to cure for another eight. And then I'm gonna put a second coat of epoxy on there and they are done. 
that's how quick and easy this is now I do have my cap as well that I'm gonna quickly show you but that's really simple you just spray paint it put a very thin coating of epoxy each time you put epoxy onto your tumblers and that is good to go as well so let me quickly show you that so here is my lid I taped off the bottom Give it a little quick spray of the gold that I was using. I'm going to apply just one little finger dab of epoxy on here. I'm going to rub that around really well. And in about 30 minutes, I'm going to remove that tape because if you don't, it will get epoxy to your lid. You don't want that. So make sure you remove your tape in between each coat of epoxy. Whether you take this design and duplicate it as is, or you take it and let it inspire you to create something completely your own. I hope that you guys had a lot of fun watching this tutorial today because I know I had a lot of fun making it. <laughs> Again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time.